Hello, hello, KV Core users. This is Annalisa, and I wanted to go over where to find the blog tools within your KV Core dashboard. And also, we're going to go over how to add a video into a blog, as well as how to drop an HTML image into an embed field. And we're going to drop this photo into the blog. So let's go ahead and go back to the KV Core platform. And we're going to scroll down this left-hand side of the dash and click Web and IDX. This is like the gateway to all of your little technical goodies uh, within your KD Core dashboard. Now, from here, there's a couple of ways we can get to blog posts. We can either click blog here at the top, uh, across the top towards the, I don't know, left of the middle, or we can just go right across from our photo and click view posts or add posts right here. So you got your blog post here shortcut or a shortcut up here at the top. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click view posts. And what's nice about this is when you look here, you can be like, all right, ooh, when did I last blog? Oh, March 28th. I should probably get some updated content blogging out, right? So this is something for you to keep track of with blogging. You know, if you haven't blogged since January, February, uh, just keep in mind some of those blog posts are going to be going out in some of those HTML emails of which we send. Uh, so make sure you're updating your blog content and making sure it's relevant to the time. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click View Posts. And it's going to show me all of the blog posts of which I have created. And within this, I actually have the ability to edit these down this right-hand side or even delete them completely from the site. Now, if this was uh, more than five blogs, say I had 20 blogs and I was like, hey, I really need to find that free down payment blog I wrote. I can just go up to the search section here and just type in uh, like a down payment. And it's going to keyword bring up that particular blog post. Now to create a new blog, we're going to click add post here at the top right. Now, if you are an admin or someone who has access to features from a top-down perspective of a team, uh, it's really, really important you check out this viewpoint here on the upper right to make sure you're looking at the right blogs because you have access to see more than one type. So, you know, I can look at anyone within my administration view here, but right now I want to look at my own blogs. So I'm going to go ahead and click Add Post and Create a Title. I could be like, you know, this little house could be yours. So you can know, drop your title in, and then you can start dropping in your different elements of information you might want to share. You know, built in 1950s, in a sleepy little co you know, sleepy little cottage town by Walt Disney. Now, from here. We have the ability to drop in different types of paragraph heading or preformed element formatted elements. We can do bold or italic. So if I wanted to, you know, change up how it looks, I can make a built bold. I can make sleepy little village italic if I wanted to. I can also do my indents or decrease indents. And you can also go into making bulleted lists with default circle discs or squares. Also, numbered list with alpha, Greek, Roman, alpha, or upper, upper, alpha, or upper Roman. And you have some choices on font. Now, the neat thing here is if you wanted to make a word a little larger, you can also uh, go in and adjust your font sizes. You can also drop a horizontal line into the middle, as well as add in tables different types of cells, rows, and columns once you have that table built in. Now, let's say from here, I wanted to add in a video. It's super, super easy to do. I just click this little source code option. It's a little icon that looks like two little mouths looking at talking at each other, basically. It's two of those uh, arrows facing out. So when I click on the source code, this is going to pop up and so far it's showing me here's everything I have created with those different types of formats that we just entered in. So we can see here we've got built in bold, that's that strong section. 
we have the italic of Sleepy Little College. And then it's telling us we have the font of Walt Disney to be 18 point. So as you look at this information, you can kind of break it down into a relation of what you're seeing and what it did. And this is how you can start to slowly pick up, you know, kind of understanding the language of HTML. So from here, let's say we want to drop a video in here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to the YouTube video and click share. And apparently we're in for a dramatic pause with my Wi-Fi, which is always very exciting because I want the embed formatting. Let's see if I can get this a different way. I'm going to refresh my tab. Pause and try again. Okay, so once we get to the share section, you're going to click that same matching icon for embed. And you're going to either, you can either, you know, copy and paste here, or you can just click copy right there. And it'll tell you link copy to clipboard at the bottom left. Now we have basically taken this video code for YouTube. And we're going to take it back to our blog and we have the source code open. So I'm going to do a couple of little uh, spaces down below that Disney cottage information. And I'm going to paste in my frame for that video. Now when I click OK, if we scroll down, we'll see the video is actually embedded into the blog. Now if I wanted to embed a photo, or embed a link about the home. Let's say I wanted to send people to the video. Maybe they want to look at it in a different format or a different method. You can also take the video link itself. If you go back to the video, click share, or any link of which you want to direct someone. And you can grab that link. and highlight the information or the call to action of what you want them to do to see this information. Now we can, you know, we have watched the video highlighted and we can click this little chain where it says edit and insert link and we drop the URL here. Now what you can also do here is say this is what I want the text to display and then what I always choose is that I want them to open, I want this to open a new window when they open this link up on my blog because it'll keep my blog open on their desktop, laptop, phone, however they're looking at it, and open up the new content of which I'm sharing. So it still keeps them centric on my site, but I'm still sending them outwards to get more information possibly. And I'll click OK. So now we have an embedded content. We have a video. We've got our different formats of how you can adjust your fonts and so forth. And now we're going to embed a photo. So let's say we get here and we're like, oh darn it, I wanted to put a photo above the video. So I'm going to place a couple of uh, spaces in there. And this is where we're going to learn how to drop an HTML image into an embed field. It's super, super easy to do. So let's say that I have my home image. Let's say it's an image of which you own or have the rights to use. I grab the link for the photo that's online and copy it. And now I take this information here and we're going to edit this link. So basically the link that I'm going to be putting into effect on my blog is right here. This animation reviews WordPress. And I actually want to use this string of information but with the new link inside of it. So from here I just need to copy my link. And then I'm going to get rid of this link and keep the uh, quotations in there. And I'm going to paste my new link in for that Disney uh, PNG. And then I'll just grab the link again, go back to my blog, and this is where I can click on the HTML, the source code, 
and then I can drop in and put it at the bottom of the uh, frame. I can also go up to uh, put it in between the two pieces. I'm just going to go ahead and drop it in here so you see what it looks like. And then when I click OK, if we scroll down, you'll see the photo is right under the blog. Now, a couple of other things you can do. You can either save it as a draft and come back to it any time and then edit. You can publish now, or you can set a publish date forward. So if you're creating something like uh, in tandem with a manual listing that you are uh, adding for maybe a coming soon pocket listing, et cetera, and you want a blog to go out as well, you can say, well, I don't want this to hit my blog until, then you click the little calendar, say, I don't want this to hit until Friday morning at, you know, 5.41 a.m. because people, uh, I want them to think I'm super productive and I get up super early. You know, you can, you can create these to go out anytime, which is pretty nice. So I'm just going to set publish now. And you can see the system has updated. And it says this little house could be yours, published on 5-6-2019. Now, as a user of KD Core, of course, I know I have my own website tied. So to find your blogs on your site, you're going to open up your site and you're going to click on your agent. So your, your own agent profile. And then you'll see my blog posts. And this is where you're going to see all of your blog posts. It looks like I still need to wait for that to push through on this side. But this is where all of your blogs are going to land. Uh, you can also see the blogs by hovering over your agent blog. And this is where you'll also see uh, the different blog posts. So again, to access the blog information, you're going to log on to your dashboard, scroll on web and IDX. Then you can click blog here towards the top left or blog posts here just on the right hand side, just to the right of your photo, view posts or add posts and go from there. If you need any technical assistance, please feel welcome to chat with support at the bottom right-hand side of your dashboard or email us kdcore at insiderealestate.com. Thank you.